Hello, it's Liz Ewell from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again for another Simple Stamping Saturday. And in case you don't know what's happened this week, on Monday I had my head shaved for um, for charity. I was marking the 10th anniversary of my breast cancer diagnosis, which I am in remission, so all good. Um, so I marked the anniversary by having my head shaved to raise money for a local Abingdon-based um, charity called Against Breast Cancer, which is researching a cure for secondary, otherwise known as terminal breast cancer, um, and a vaccine for breast cancer. So that's why I am in have slightly shorter hair than normal. Um, obviously, it's growing back bit by bit. It is quite a lot longer than it was on Monday. Anyway, just in case you were wondering what was going on, that's what's going on. But it's Saturday, so it's Simple Stamping Saturday. It's Celebration, so I'm using items from Celebration. Well, one item from Celebration. So let's flip the camera down and have a look at what we are making. So I'm using... Um, the wonderful, really originally named Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam Cards and Envelopes. Uh, these go with the um, Splendid Thoughts Suite. Um, so hence their Soft Sea Foam and Pool Party, because those are two of the colours in that suite. This is the card, which is only very... It's not that easy for you to see, I just realised. Um, it will be easier on my website, and there's a link to that below in the description bar. Um, but I've taken one of the soft sea foam cards um, and stamped on it. So let me show you what I've done. Oh, and these are the envelopes. They're gorgeous. Again, it's not that easy to show them to you here, but they've got, it's soft sea foam with white, um, a white pattern down in the corner as well and then petal pool uh, petal pool party on the inside and it does go all the way up um so more so if you're in the u.s where your this is your standard size card you could obviously substitute white envelopes um, and use the paper that's inside these envelopes or outside as well for other things but let me show you how I've made this card. It's really simple. Um, two ink pads, the stamp set, and you're good to go. So I'm using soft sea foam. And let me show you the, ink, uh, the stamp set. So this is the stamp set. It's the Splendid Thoughts. We've got Sending Hugs. Let's celebrate. Much love in your, in your new life together. Today is a day to remember. And then not real two-step stamping so you've got two um line drawings and then two infills that do not fit and they're not meant to fit and that's great so you don't have to worry about lining them up uh, and then there's this which is either a bee or a wasp depending on how you look at it um i'm thinking of it as a bee because i really don't like wasps they don't like me much either so i'm just inking up my stamp here let's pop that so that it's actually visible and I'm just coming down to the bottom right hand corner and stamping straight onto the front of the card so these are free during celebration with a purchase of 45 pounds or 60 euros um, they're gorgeous I didn't realize how nice they were until I got them and now I'm ordering lots more. Uh, so this is the so-called infill um, and basically you just need to kind of have it. I'm kind of lining it up with that, this leaf and this leaf. Not that I'm really lining it up, I'm just kind of having it roughly in that area. And then again, pressing down. This is a distinctive stamp, so it's not going to be a solid color. It's going to be like newsprint. And I don't know that you're going to be able to see it. Oh, just about. Yes, that's all right then. So close my soft sea foam and open my Sahara sand, which is one of the other colours in the suite, or in the paper rather. And I've already got my Let's Celebrate stamp mounted up. So I'm going to pop this down in that corner, overlapping the stem of the leaf 
and that you should be able to see we've got let's celebrate and it's as simple as that we don't need to worry about decorating the envelope because they already are so it really is that simple two ink pads one stamp set and you're you're good to go um, and then there's the envelope that goes with it which as I say is not that easy to see but in the photographs I'm sure it'll be fine so that's my simple version let me bring in that was the previous simple version so these are the ones that I've done to step up so I've introduced the dies that go with the stamp set and they're the splendid stem dies um, there's only these two that actually oh and the B slash wasp that die cut the stamped images there's this scooped shape which is great as a bowl or for a label um, and it's partly stitched and partly just embossed and then we've got all of these filigree items um, as well so I've used this die here to die cut the image that again I've stamped in soft sea foam um, we're using the line drawing and the infill and then this is Sahara sand on white which I've just fussy cut and then I've used some of the elegant faceted gems uh, which were in my class kit last month um, they come in petal pink this sort of white sparkly um, it's got like embedded glitter almost in it and then the clear which is what I've used for this because it doesn't need much this paper um, so I've just popped three round then this one introduces the papers which are gorgeous uh, if you didn't catch my YouTube live on Thursday please go and have a look because that's what I was using on Thursday and I've used some of the white uh, glimmer paper just to die cut one of those outline shapes and then I've heat embossed in white on soft sea foam and fussy cut and again I've got some of the um, the elegant faceted gems around the outside this paper is a uh, pool party but it's a satin whereas most of the papers in the paper pack are foil um, they are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um, let me grab them my my pack has been well and truly massacred I have to say but an apologies for the fact they are going to they are going to blind you because they're gorgeous and foiled so this one is calypso coral ish um, so it's white on foil that's sort of calypso coral I say that because this is calypso coral on the back don't know why we're bothering with a pattern on the back frankly fresh freesia with foiling uh, soft sea foam with foiling pool party which is the one that I've used and this is the satin um, and this time it's satin so whereas these ones the white's been left and it's been foiled round this it's um, satin that's then had the white put on top somehow uh, this is gorgeous this is soft sea foam it's one of the papers I used on Thursday and then we're back to where we started with those but the one that I don't have a full sheet of is this which is one of those super patterns like this one that you just cut in half and then put on the front of a card you're done really don't need any more so that's the splendid day specialty designer series paper it is gorgeous it's in the july to december mini it is so not christmas please don't think of that catalogue as only being for christmas it is so not so much more there are there are lots of papers that are not christmas and there are lots of stamps and things that are not Christmas so do have a look at that so those are our our uh, cards for today so I hope you enjoyed those and if you did obviously give it a thumbs up if you don't already subscribe I would be thrilled if you would subscribe when I get to 10,000 subscribers I will be doing a massive giveaway that will be international um, so lots of stuff to put in a box and send off to whoever the lucky winner is um, not necessarily product if it's overseas I can't sell send product if it's in Europe I can but if it's overseas I can't but yeah those are today's simple stamping Saturday cards have a fantastic rest of your day um, if you've got any questions or queries those go below the description bar 
um, you can pop those in there. Um, and yeah, have a fantastic weekend. And I hope to see you again next week.